This is Church of God Mission International, by Elsa Bishopric Headquarters. We are not just a church. We are one big family. Any day, any time. Daddy, thank you, sir. Mommy, thank you. I want to thank the leadership of the church once again for this golden opportunity. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, who are you? Who made you who you are? What's your answer? Hallelujah. Then ask your neighbor again, neighbor, have you told him thank you, sir? Of all you have done for me. For the good you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For the good you have done, I will shout hallelujah. For the good you have done for me, I will sing hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. you are your word. Minister your word this moment. Even as we are in the spirit of thanksgiving, glorify your name and take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 103 verse 1, 2, 3, 4. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Every grateful heart is graceful. Every grateful heart is what? Full of grace. And as man, woman, born of God into this world that is full of trouble, Ask yourself this question. How have I come this far? And to where I am today, is it by my own making? Is it by my sweat? I find out to see that every effort man bestow appear like useless. Why does it appear like useless? You might think your money is sufficient for you. But just for you to get up, before you start counting the money, is over. True or false? But still yet, you are forging ahead. You are marching on. And at the end, you are debt free. At the end, you are alive and well. Have you told him, thank you, Lord? Have you told him, Lord, I bless your name? For all that you have done for me. For all that you have done for my family. For all that you have done. Seeing me from conception to birth. From the crash to the kindergarten. To the adolescence. To the youthful age. To the adult age. And to where I am. Is it by my making? And the psalmist decided to say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all, 
all, not some, all his benefits. Some slept last night and they are no more. But here you are, strong and healthy. Some got up just to leave the house. But on their way to their place of work or to a journey, they are no more. Some were right in their house eating their home food. From the table of their home food, or I don't know how to put that English now, but somehow they passed on. But you were able to eat your food, digest your food, and then survive. Sometimes you eat and bones pierce your throat, true or false. You survive it. Sometimes you are eating your home food and you had this stubborn cough and some food particles sniff out of your nose. Some run into your throat abnormally. You cough, your eyes were running waters. Some pass out from there, but God kept you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Every man was born small. Ask yourself, how do you manage to grow to become the person you are? Is it your making? Sometimes, like the testimony our brother, dressed man, shared the other day, the keke accident. Look at everybody, badly injured, but in the same keke, he came out strong. He came out healthy. He came out ready to help others. Is he having a different head? No. It's the goodness of God. It's the mercy of God. Stop counting the things that God has not given to you. Count the ones he has given. Stop counting the things that God has not done and start counting the ones he has done. I've seen men remain in the same spot because they were counting on the ones that God has not done. Why not forget the ones that God has not done and count the ones that God has done and keep thanking him so that the remnants will come. He knows when to fix them in your life. Not at your timetable, but at his own desired time so that it will be a testimony in your mouth. I have a hundred thousand. Because I have a hundred thousand, I go to the market. I can buy the phone out of the hundred thousand. Fifty thousand. You see me coming back. Am I right? With my shoulders high, I bought a phone. So all is well. And that is the way you see it. But you never know. God's mercy kept you. That's why you were able to buy that phone. Are, are we together this morning? If not... Before you get to the market, somebody must have snatched away that hundred naira, hundred thousand. I remember when home theater came out newly. A boy from my village traveled to Ugeli. He bought three loader. On his way back, a small boy of 26, 27. A small boy. He never thought of going to school, but home theater. What do you need a home theater for? On his way back, armed robbers robbed them and collected the home theater. He began to cry. From Ugueru to Patani, a small boy at that age, the BP was now reading 220. They told me, your friend is sick. Oh, I thought it was a real sickness. I never know it was armed robbery sickness that led to BP. I visited him in the hospital. The legs were up. The head was down. I said, bro, what happened? He said, they stole my home theater. He was not thankful they didn't shot him dead. Because the boys were armed. They were carrying axe and cutlasses. He didn't thank God they spared his life. Home theater. That in a, in a glimpse of eye, God can bless you double, double, double. He never thanked God. When I met him, I said, bro, what's happened? 
He said, if you know waiting, I pastor, I say, thank God. He said, you say, thank, thank waiting. I say, thank God. If they kill you before, wait till you for talk. Your mother would have been crying, a useless cry. Bless the Lord for the good things he has done for you. You grow up, one day you become a youth. You grow up, one day you pick a wife or you pick a husband. One person pick one. As you are going in the journey of life, God bless you, you have a child. You have one, you have two, you have three, you have four, you have five, some have 13. My mother had 13. Five survived. Did you thank him? Sometimes when you look at the income, this income cannot sustain the full family across the months. But yet, one day, that same income that cannot sustain six persons in the house was able to build a house for you. One day, this same money that cannot sustain six persons was able to buy you a car. Did you tell him thank you? For the good you have done, I will sing hallelujah. Everything you have done, I will shout hallelujah. hallelujah. For the good you have done, I will, I will sing, sing hallelujah. Shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Sometimes you look and you say, I wish. I wish I am the one that married the bishop. And then you begin to condemn your home. But God looked at you and gave you the best too. Only you don't know how to manage it. That's why you think this side is better. Why not rethink? Why not go down on your knee and rethink and say, God, Take me to the potter's house and refashion me. Let me have that grateful heart. Of this one that you have given to me is the best of gift. And you see the goodness of God coming out of him. One morning you begin to say, Eme na gono teme da do Kiri teme da do Ye toko ni mo Nana we do Sometimes you compare your family with another. Eh? It will shock you to know that a boy never saw his father for five years, but yet he has a father. The only day the father came home as a transporter, the boy ran away. And the father asks the mother, what do you tell the boy now? The mother said, I don't tell her anything. No. I don't tell her anything. Because from the day where we born him, you carry him from hospital to rich house. Now today, in they see you. See you as a stranger. But here somebody will say, I wish. Now that man I marry. Because they drop big money for house. I wish, but now he never see Peking for five years. The only day he see Peking, the Peking wrong. But he's a loving father because he cares. He was only running to see that the house is well kept, but he forgot somewhere. The mother has to feel him. You cannot change your father. You cannot change your mother. They may not be as rich as the president, but celebrate God because of them. 
Your children may not be as educated like the best knowledge man in the whole world. But they are the best children that God will give you, that will give you peace of mind. Don't compare them to anybody. They are the best of God's gifts in your quiver that will make you talk or speak in the gates of your enemy. When the right time comes, knowledge will come. I have a brother that from primary one to four, he cannot read anything. It's like push wheelbarrow, push and he will move. But one day, he saw a piece of newspaper on the ground. And he decided to pick the newspaper and read. When he got to the house, he told mommy and daddy, mommy and daddy, I can read now. And they thought it was a thing of joke. Because nobody called him basket head. Nobody called him you are a failure. Everybody was encouraging him. You can make it. You will get there. And you will be there. And because of that thing, after reading that newspaper, he became a champion in the house. As I'm talking to you, among five children, till he left the university, nobody beat him. And as popular as the University of Ibadan is, he came out with distinction. When I look at my right, when I look at my left, when I look at my back, and when I look at my front, if I am honest, I will see a reason to praise the Lord. Even in your place of work, sir, you think that seat you are seated, somebody didn't desire it. You think you are the best to get there. You are not. But God's mercy, God's grace, God's favor kept you, pushed you, planted you there. Some envy you to the point where some go to shrines and mention your name. But Jehovah covered you, preserved you, and he said, this is the apple of my eyes. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You are preserved. Have you thanked him enough? Have you thanked him enough? You see your children grow up in your presence. Sometimes you walk when I see my children. The first three, the third one now is taller than me. I begin to ask one question. Where these heights they come from where they pursue me? How many did it take past me? Where was I? It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in my eyes. There was a day a young boy challenged me when I stood and then the boy stand. I said, oh father, if I raise my hand, this boy is dead because he won't allow me to beat him. He will beat him for me. Are we together this morning? How did it happen? God's mercy. Daddy, was I there when the boy was growing? No. I was sleeping on my own. I warned him not to shake my hand because his palm is bigger than my own times two. There was a day I said, let me just shake my children. As I give him my hand, my palm as big as this palm is lost inside his throat. I say, from today, don't shake me again. But it's the lost doing. Somebody is looking for a boy like that. Somebody is looking for that girl you have like that. Some look down on girls. Don't worry. One day, even if you are not ready to train them, God will train them. One day, when one will grow to become like in God's well, you will look behind and see the mess you have done and you will not know how to correct it. But correct it now. Correct it now. I have four girls, three boys. The girls are more lovely and closer to me than the boys. I still love all of them equal. I did not segregate them. Are we together? But the girls show me that love. That love, that love, that love. I don't know how to describe it. But the boys, like our guest speaker the other day, will come. Daddy, the light bill don't finish. We're not going to recharge. But the girls will ask me, Daddy, have you eaten? How was office today? The boys will ask me, Daddy, that's your shoe. 
that your shoe, you know, go size my leg. <laughs> you know, go size my leg. I thank God I have people that can share it with me. There are some houses when you will go, Daddy, when you will go, it's like monuments. Where the father where is kept, where the mother where is kept, nobody is there to use them. I'm very happy. Are you happy? Are you happy of what God has done? Be grateful to him. He has done marvelous things. Amen. He has done marvelous things. Amen. The Lord has done marvelous things. Amen. Alpha and Omega has done marvelous things. Amen. In case all these things I counted didn't bother you, think of how you used to live a wasted life. Some of us were drunkards. Some of us were smokers. Some of us were prostitutes. Some of us were manstitute. Whatever name you like to call it. Nobody, the Bible said, there is none righteous. No, not one. If you don't have the stain of being a thief, you will have the stain of being a liar. If you don't have the stain of being a liar, you will have the stain of being a shit. But God redeemed us. That's why our mother says, focus on Christ for the benefit of the cross. When the cross came to play, I thank this God. He saved me from an idol worshiping home. He saved me from becoming a priest of, to a deity. He saved me and made me a living deity to that deity. He saved me. He saved me. Think. If Christ has not come, where will you be by now? Where will your life be by now? Where will your family be by now? If Christ has not died in the cross of Calvary, he redeemed us. He paid the price. Some of us, no father, but he paid the price. He has made us fathers. He paid the price. They even prophesy, you will die. But he said, I've come to give my life, so this one will not die. Through the cross, God cannot suffer double loss. Because if you die premature, God suffer double loss. Give him praise. Next Sunday we are thanking God here. Your money is important. But your dancing style is far valuable. The Bible says David danced until even the clothes in his body begin to pull off. To the point where the wife disdained him. Do you know why David was da dancing? David was dancing because according to their Jewish custom, he was conceived out of wedlock. He said, in sin, my mother conceived me. And in iniquity, she brought me forth. Based on that, he was not having the right to enter into the holies of holies. And when he now finally had access to the holies of holies, he said, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? To the point where God so loved him. When even his own father looked down on him and called him a bad name. Said this one I burnt away. That's why I keep him with the animals in the bush. The prophet says until he come we will not sit down. And when he finally came. The Bible said the oil found him. Grace located him. Grace located him. And he that was least among all. Become the head of the cornerstone. Can we stand on our feet this morning? Yeah, be more. Yeah, be more. Yeah, be more. Na 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 be more. Yeah, be come. Yeah, be more. Jesus.
open your mouth and tell him thank you. Today, don't make any request, but tell him thank you. Today, he has made you a father, tell him thank you. He has made you a mother, tell him thank you. He is sustaining your life, tell him thank you. He is protecting your home, tell him thank you. He protects your children, tell him thank you. You travel out, you come back safe and successful, tell him thank you. What do you have that he did not give, tell him thank you. Who are you? What have you that he didn't do? Tell him thank you. testimony in your mouth. As you tell him, thank you. He will put testimony in the family. Let thank you never cease. The songwriter says, hallelujah, no go finish for my mouth. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Chineke de ma, oye na guardia. 